Hey, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men, and the topic for this video is uh, she's not your therapist. There is a core mistake that we make in relationships is wanting to share everything, be there in this, you know, communication mode where we share absolutely all the feelings that come up. And the thing is that sometimes there is just too much processing, especially if you are somebody who gets triggered a lot in relationships when it comes to jealousy, feeling insecure, or having controlling patterns. What you want to understand is that your girlfriend or your wife, she is not your therapist. If you need to voice something, sometimes it's not the right thing to voice it to her. Get in touch with me, grab a coaching session with me, and then talk to me instead of uh, you know, voicing to her. You can use a therapist, you can use somebody else, a close friend, but basically if she becomes your only funnel of expression, your only channel of expression, you are going to burn the relationship because you, there is only so much processing that your relationship can take. Okay, so if you had a big fight or you had a big conversation about something and then you had another fight like two days later and then another one in the same week and then the weekend comes and you have like three major outbreaks, that's going to burn the pipes of fun and pleasure in your relationship. So you need to find ways of accessing something that is fun. Have great sex, have romantic time, go and do fun, fun things. Surround yourself with a beautiful tribe of people, friends, family, so that you have really something that, that gives value to your relationship. So the thing is this, it is that sometimes when you have something to voice and you have something to express, deflecting that desire to speak to her and directing it somewhere else is a really good option. Again, the options are this one. You can journal about it, okay, write it down. You can go on a walk by yourself and uh, digest it or go for a jog and basically have this kind of self-talk conversation where you check what's going on. Okay? Another one is call a friend, spend time with good friends, with good male friends, have a strong male tribe around you that is going to boost your energy and your power and allow you to have a channel of expression there. You know, you have lots of men's groups lately that are developing around the world and the planet, that's a very good option as well. Another one, work with a professional like me, you know, you can reach out, you go to my, to my website, vitalcoaching.com slash coaching, sign up for a session, we're on Skype, on the phone, talking about these issues that you might be facing instead of using her as your therapist. That's a very powerful option. And, um, you know, you might have some female friends to who you want to talk as well. Um, Again, when you, when you share those ideas or whatever is going on with friends, be really careful with who you ask for feedback because some people are going to have a very toxic input on your relationship and basically, uh, you know, bring trouble more than, uh, than solutions and healing. So here you have it. Your girlfriend is not your therapist having, a, having a, a deep conversation with her every now and then. Might be really useful, might be really powerful, but um, find other options if... Uh, you, your relationship is getting burned out with processing. I'll see you soon for another tip.